Now, in one of my previous videos, um, I went through one of my Piano Beats instrumental songs and, and talked you through how I made it in Reaper. In this video, I'm going to go into a bit more detail about recording piano, uh, using that song as an example, and hopefully you should uh, pick up a few tips and tricks uh, on the way. We have three ways of uh, recording digital piano. One, uh, you could just do it the traditional old way and just put a microphone um, near the speakers of the piano um, and record the audio. The second way of doing it is recording the audio, but not through a microphone, but from the, uh, the line out or, or maybe even the headphone out from the piano. So I could take a, a standard stereo jack cable, plug it in to the piano uh, and plug the other end of it into my audio interface that goes into my computer. And third and finally, and the way we're going to use in this video, which is my preferred way of recording, is to use MIDI. So let's talk about physically connecting the piano to the interface for a recording uh, via MIDI. So you would need a MIDI cable, which you can buy pretty much, you know, any music store or Amazon these days, plug that into the MIDI out on your uh, keyboard, your digital piano. You plug the other end into a MIDI interface that's going into your computer. Now, you might have an audio interface and a separate MIDI interface, or you might, like I've got, I have a Focusrite 6i6, which has audio interfaces and MIDI interfaces built into it. So in my case, I would plug the other end of that cable into the MIDI in on my uh, Focusrite Scarlett 6i6. Now for the purposes of demoing this, so this, this is my track that I uh, recorded the piano on from my, one of my previous videos. I'll just play a little bit of it. So you can hear the piano that I've recorded there and that was recorded using MIDI. What I've done is I've created another project app in Reaper here uh, as <clears throat> so I can use this as a demonstration for just uh, recording the piano. What you might want to do to start with is go to your preferences in Reaper, so options, preferences, and check out the uh, MIDI devices preferences page. You will find your MIDI interface listed here. So on my case, uh, because I've got the MIDI interface built into the Focusrite Scarlett 6i6, We've got a Focusrite USB MIDI device here, and that is the that is the MIDI input that the piano will get recorded to. Now you can see here, I've just double clicked on it to launch this. We want to make sure that it's enabled. Um, if it's not enabled, what we're going to do here won't work. So I want to create a track now. I'm going to right click on, on this empty uh, panel here. And I'm going to say insert virtual instrument on new track. And I'm going to put a piano virtual instrument on it here. These days we have lots and lots of free options. So as an example here, I'm going to use a, an actual free piano. This is a free piano from Spitfire Audio Labs, um, which I just downloaded for free. And I'll put a link in the description below uh, where you can get it. Um, so if I just uh, add that, and there you can see the plugin comes up. And this is that free, uh, um, soft piano plugin it's called from Spitfire Audio Labs. If I just play some keys down here, you can hear uh, the piano and it's, a, it's quite a nice mellow sounding soft piano. So we've got our instrument set up. We want to now begin recording. So first thing that I uh, always do is I let's set up a metronome. I've just uh, clicked the metronome enable button there. Let's play that probably a bit too fast so I'm just going to lower the BPM let's lower it down to 80 say okay that's uh, that's fine for the purposes of what I'm doing here now I'm going to go over to the piano I'm going to record something similar to what I did in the song before I record I've got to do several things so I've got to make sure this button record armed is uh, selected so you can see it's red there that means it are it's armed if I take it off it won't be so record armed and then this button here record monitoring on that means I can hear what I'm playing through the headphones I'm going to press record I'm going to go over to the piano and I'm going to record a little bit of me playing
Let's play that back. Okay, you can hear that and that's recorded very nicely. So that, that's recorded the MIDI information coming from my, uh, my digital piano, my keyboard, into here. And it's using that MIDI information, so that sequence of instructions to play notes, to play that back on this piano plugin, this Spitfire Labs free soft piano plugin. If we open this and say, if I wanted to change this note, so that note's a C there. So no, it's not, it's a B. I don't know what I'm talking about. I said C earlier, I meant B. <laughs> but supposing I wanted that note to be a D instead. So I could just move that up to a D there. There we go, straight away we've made a, a really uh, simple, quick edit change without me having to go back to the piano and re-record the parts. Okay, that's it. That is how I record uh, digital piano for my own songs. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, hit that notification bell, like and share this video. Um, check out the links in the description below. Keep making music and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.